We now come to the lens maker's formula and the thin lens equation and how to derive them. Right. So in the previous video, we derived this general result for curved surfaces with lenses. And remember, DO is your object distance. And uh, DI is your image distance. But with lenses, okay, um, if, we, if we go back to the previous uh, picture, okay, here we just had a slab of transparent material. One of the sides was curved but it didn't necessarily uh, have to form an image somewhere outside of the lens. But for typical lenses, things like magnifying glasses and things like that, um, your image is going to appear outside of your material, right? And, and that's what you want. That's, that's why magnifying glasses work. So the entire idea of a thin lens Okay, the entire idea of a thin lens is that the thickness of the lens T, this thickness right here, T is less than, in most cases, much less than either curvature of either side of the lens. Now, your lens does not have to be symmetric. In other words, the curvature on this side, R1, does not have to be the same as the curvature on this side, R2. They can be different, okay? Um, but it is true, or will be true, that uh, the thin lens approximation is when the thickness of the lens is much less than the uh, sizes of the curvatures of either lens, right? Okay, so... Uh, this is uh, slightly uh, a very, very busy diagram, so we'll try to break down everything that we're doing step by step, right? So we start with this equation, right? And this was the general result that we derived in the previous video. Now, our initial object is going to be at a point P, and it will have an initial distance D naught or D zero from the near side of the lens. So this is the first surface that's going to experience refraction, okay? And um, we're gonna make the simplifying assumption that our object is in air, okay? And N2 is our material. Usually it'll be like glass or acrylic or something like that. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but if you wanna make a lens, then uh, a rigid lens, then um, you know those are two very common materials. So um, inserting N1 equals air, well, if that's the case, then this just equals one. So we might as well set that to one, okay? So then that reduces to one over D zero plus N2 over DI prime equals N2 minus one over R. So I've just substituted one for N, uh, N1 here. Okay, and so here's the deal with these primes. Di prime is the image distance of your intermediate image. So you have two surfaces. So you'll have refraction from the first surface and this first surface is then going to create an image that will then serve as the object for the second surface. So refraction from this surface is going to create an inter intermediate image that will then serve as the object for this side of your curvature, okay? So your primes uh, in this notation are your intermediate object and intermediate image, okay? So D0, your uh, original object distance will create an image uh, di prime and then that image 
will be a distance d uh, zero prime from your second surface. Okay, so your primes are your intermediate uh, steps. Okay, so now that we've assumed uh, n one is air, we have this equation, and then step two. Even though, okay, so in this particular image, your intermediate image is outside of the lens, but the light itself is still inside, right? The light that got refracted is still inside. And so the light is in now, we consider our uh, medium to be n1 and air to be n2 okay so we're basically reversing the ends from before okay so that means that for my um, object now as far as this side of my lens is concerned my object is d0 prime and that is in medium n and my image is now going to be in air and so my image gets an index of refraction of one and then uh, by extension uh, n2 now is air and n1 is our uh, uh, index of refraction of our material so I have one minus n over R2, which is now the curvature of the second side of the lens. Okay, now here's one of the crucial steps in this derivation, and that is we denote that our object distance for our intermediate image, our object, I don't know how well I drew that. But our uh, object, let's maybe try it this way. Okay, so D0 prime represents this entire distance from the uh, intermediate image to the second uh, curve of the lens. And that is equal to the intermediate image distance from the first side of the lens plus the thickness of the lens t okay but we typically note or denote that um this intermediate image distance is we denote it as negative okay and this just comes from the sign convention of lenses and this will make a little bit more sense when we uh, uh, talk about lenses in, a, in a more detail. Um, but because our intermediate image uh, is negative and, and it comes from the fact that it's virtual if it's on the same side as your object. And it could be that your intermediate image is actually on this side. Um, and that would be a, a real image according to your first side of your curvature, but then it would be negative according to the second uh, uh, curvature over here. So in either case, your intermediate image distance is going to be negative, okay? So with that, um, we can plug this into this equation and so I'm going to get n over negative di prime plus t plus 1 over di equals uh, 1 minus n over r2 okay now so here's where the thin lens approximation comes in okay if this is the case, then we can neglect the t, it becomes negligible here, and this result can now be written as n over uh, negative, because uh, 
Now I'm just going to pull this negative sign and pull it out in front of the entire fraction. Okay, and so now we have two equations. Okay, and you'll notice that we have um, di primes in both of them, right? Di primes in both of them. And by the way, uh, we can actually get rid of this N2 here because this is now just whatever the index of refraction of your material is. And notice that I have these terms uh, N over DI prime and negative N over DI prime in both of these expressions. So let's rewrite these just to, to get some clarity. This is a really, really busy slide. So our two equations of note are 1 over d naught plus n over d i prime equals uh, n minus 1 over r1. And then we have negative n over d i prime plus 1 over d i equals 1 minus n over r2, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to add these equations together and when we do you'll notice that these two terms drop out and I am left with 1 over d naught plus 1 over di is equal to n minus 1 over r1 plus uh, 1 minus n over r2. And what I can do is put in a negative sign here and this allows me to uh, factor out an n minus 1. So 1 over d naught plus 1 over di is equal to n minus 1 times 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2. Okay. Whew. Okay, so we are almost home. Now, the definition of the focal length of a lens. Is that if my image distance is infinity, then the light gets focused at the focal point or the focal length of the lens and therefore di is equal to f. Okay, So if my image uh, or my object is at optical infinity then my image is going to be focused at the focal point. Right. So if we put in uh, 1 over infinity and 1 over f equals n minus 1 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2, then we arrive at the lens maker's formula. 1 over infinity goes to 0, and the lens maker's formula says as long as uh, you know your, your lens is, uh, uh, your, your first index of refraction is air, for example. Uh, So this is the formula that, that lens makers use to make glasses. Okay, um, if you need glasses and the uh, uh, optometrist knows what focal length you need to correct for your vision, then you can make lenses, one with 
uh, one, uh, your lens can have one side of curvature R1 and another side of curvature R2 and this will also tell you if your curvatures need to be convex or concave and uh, then you can calculate the focal length and you know how to make your glasses and uh, this works of course if you know what material you're going to make your glasses out of right but so you can you can choose a material whether it's glass or or uh, you know some sort of hardened plastic or something uh, you can measure the index of refraction and then from that you can uh, arrange what uh, curvatures you need to achieve a specific focal length right so uh, this is the lens makers formula right this is the lens makers formula and um, now what we can also do is we can say well if this equals 1 over f then we can plug 1 over f in for right here and we arrive at the thin lens equation so for a thin lens we can say that 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance equals 1 over the focal length now for most of the lenses that we're going to look at our lenses are going to be symmetric in that they're going to have the same radii of curvature on both sides but they don't have to okay it's just the simplest case to uh, examine as far as your lenses go but this formula is true whether that approximation is true or not okay so this is a bit more uh, of a formal derivation of the thin lens equation coupled with the lens makers formula okay so next set of videos we will be diving into exactly what uh, to do with the lens uh, thin lens equation and looking at ray tracing diagrams for lenses all right so stay tuned